possible, last several minutes. The rings are stabilized by the motion of the particles as they float off into the atmosphere and Etna. Have just been released into the atmosphere. On a clear day. Filmed at 1300 frames per second, there is no doubt. But the ring you can see is not a smoke ring. It's formed by the pressure drop within the vortex. The friction at the interface between the two fluids causes the vortex ring to form. Like, under each one, a vortex ring is actually forming. It's just normally we can't see it. Turn on the current, and I might have to tap it a little bit to get the iron filings to rotate.
magnetic field lines are, are starting to curve. At this point, the magnetic field lines have come out here and are, are going in exactly the opposite direction. And then once we uh, are down by the south pole of the bar magnet, the magnetic fields are again pointing in the same direction that they were over here. So the magnetic field lines look like they come out here, come around on this side. The magnetic a model of... Uh, the compass needle aligns with the axis of the coil when the current is flowing. We'll have to tap the plastic to get the iron filings to move. And you Around the hole at B, the lines of force are in clockwise direction. In the above activity, the lines of force enter the coil from the side of the experiment. Here's a close-up of the ring gun in action. The rings are formed by pulses of compressed surface. This disturbance in the surface seems disproportionately small considering the energy carried by the ring. What do you think? Here is a slow motion close-up of the reflection from above the surface and then a slow motion close-up below the surface. Now we are going to shoot rings at a much steeper angle. As before, three shots in real time and then three shots in loading solvent. That was three quick shots in real time and now three shots in slow motion. There is a fluid exchange which occurs after the ring is in the solvent. The denser water is ejected from the ring as the lighter solvent is through the conductor. Now, as we gently tap the cardboard, we can see that the iron filings align themselves in a specific pattern. They are in the form of circles around each arm of the conductor. These circles prove the presence of a magnetic field of the conductor. But as we move from the arms towards the center of the coil, the lines of force become almost parallel. You can see that the magnetic field intensity decreases. The magnetic field produced around the coil proves that the coil behaves like a magnet and has a north and south polarity. Now we will shoot rings at a shallower angle to the interface. As before, of slow motion close-ups. I've only ever seen two distinct rates of spin. It is a mystery to me why this spin should be, dare I say it, quantized. We will end part four with a time lapse which shows the helicity of the core streamlines. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Vortex Ring. Thank you for watching Vortex. The spring itself is 27 foot long, is wound in a very clever way so that the outer coils thrown out by the centrifugal force automatically tighten on the inner coils and making them cling to this blue plastic ring which is a metal core to it, looking just like a silver bubble. A flowing torus or torus looks as he calls it. Water with a suspension of grass seeds through his glass model and observe these vortices in the sinus immediately above the aortic valve. And he deduced that these vortices played a crucial role in the opening out of the cusps of the valve after each pump of the heart. And, and observe these vortices 
in the sinus, immediately above the aortic valve. And he deduced that these vortices played a crucial role in the opening out of the cusps of the valve after each pump of the heart. And it's absolutely right. It's only in the 20th century that um, cardiologists basically agreed with Leonardo that the vortices in the sinus of Valsalva are crucial for the function of the aorta. <laughs> Just one of an uncountable number of negatively charged electrons seeking a positive destination. She finds the positively charged neodymium core irresistible and enters the sterile converter device, becoming part of an enormous reservoir of electrons. A patient with an high pressure system. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, how do you explain the Coriolis effect, you know, on the other side of the planet? But, you know, these, these things tend to turn the opposite direction. How can electricity just rotate counterclockwise? So this is a experience that shows that the electricity.
conception of the gods. 